Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 19th. It's cold. Uh, we're not getting out of the 30s today. Cloudy. It was a miserable day yesterday. Lots of rain and just drizzly rain and cold. Eh, I guess it's uh, we're going to have winter after all. I saw some guys further west have gotten snow uh, today, so it's coming. Uh, Bing's favorite, and actually for a change of pace this morning, I've got some Cornell and Deal Winchester. Wonderful blend. Uh, Red Virginia and a black Cavendish that's made from Burley, and it really does smoke like a Burley Virginia blend. Uh, very smooth, very uh, full-bodied. It, it's, it's a fantastic uh, blend, and I'm surprised it doesn't get more attention. I was turned onto this by my uh, by my friend Ben the Artful Cotter, who was really enjoying it. He he said you should try it, and I got a sample of it, and I'm going to order more. It's not it's not going to be my everyday smoke or anything, but occasionally I want something that's just a little bit sweeter. This fits the bill. So, uh, Santa visited the house early. Uh, I got two packages in the mail yesterday that I was just, I, I'm, I didn't do yabos and I'm, I'm glad I didn't because I would have been somewhat speechless and <laughs> not been able to get through the video. Uh, and you know, I, I don't really like to do those. I like, I like sharing the gifts with you, but I don't, I think the whole box opening thing is a little, for me, a little difficult to do and somewhat I'd rather know what I'm talking about before I start talking, I guess, is the bottom line. Although you wouldn't know it from many of my videos. Huh? Anyway, I got two packages in the mail, and I was just flabbergasted yesterday opening these. I went to see our friend Ed Armchair Piper yesterday, and... Uh, the reason for my visit, other than I just like visiting Ed, and we had a had a very pleasant time smoking a few bowls of tobacco and chatting, but I also had to drop off his package of uh, what he won from the giveaway that I had uh, a few weeks ago. So that was fun. Uh, he he loved everything, and uh, we we had a real good time. And currently, Ed and I are planning to carpool up to Boswell's on the thirtieth for the meetup. Um, so that's, that's the hope. Uh, I've got a couple other people I want to talk to about possibly, uh, joining us. Uh, but at least Ed and I will be there. So, uh, well, that's the plan. So getting back to these packages. So first off, um, one of the reasons I'm smoking Winchester this morning is I was thinking about, um, the Artful Codger and... He got in touch with me. Um, you guys know that I've developed a, an affinity for these Nimrod lighters. Uh, this is the Nimrod Commander, and uh, I just love it. Very reliable. Wow, that's my kind of light. Um, very reliable lighters. I, I, I really like the Nimrods. Now, the, the one you're probably most familiar with is the Nimrod Huntsman, which is that screw sort of thing where you drag your thumb across the wheel as you pull it out, and you got the, the hole in the middle. Uh, it looks like a bolt, bolt with a nut on it. I have one of those. I should have brought it down to show you, but I've got the Huntsman. I've got the Commander. Uh, I recently was able to uh, purchase the Admiral of a friend on uh, Instagram. The one that I've had trouble finding is the Nimrod Executive. And I mentioned that in a video a while back, and Ben got in touch and said, you know, I got one of those. And I said, oh, okay, uh, you know, let's let's make a deal. You know, what do you want for it? And, and Ben being Ben just said, oh, don't, don't worry about it. I uh, just want to see it have a good home. And yesterday a package arrived, and this is unbelievable. Still in the original box. Still with the original literature, which is really cool. 
uh, really, really cool. Uh, special offer coupon for two dollars. And this is the manual that comes with the lighter. It's the use, care, and feeding of your Nimrod. And you know, instructions. Very cool. And here she is, still in, still in the uh, the original box, in wonderful condition. It's got this um, leather wrapping and then the gold plating on it. It's just beautiful, beautiful lighter. Now it does need. So the way these work is you. I'm sure, I think I do that backwards actually. So you drag your thumb as you open it. Hopefully you can see that sparking a bit. It sparks well. Oh. I even had a flame there. Uh, I didn't know there was any fuel on it. It sparks well, uh, but it does need an O-ring on the, uh, the fuel chamber. I thought I had one handy, but I don't. So I'm going to have to get an O-ring for that. And I will be featuring this in, in future videos because I love it. It's uh, And I do. I don't collect lighters. I gather them. So this is a fantastic addition to my gathering of Nimrods, <laughs> which sounds like a very funny thing, actually. So thank you for this, Ben. And of course, Ben being Ben, he did not just send the lighter. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. He sent me a full tub of Mixture 79. I think he said it's 14 years old. I smoked a bowl of this last night. Within like 10 minutes of opening the box, I was packing it in. It. Oh man, this is fantastic stuff. Uh, I, I love Mixture 79. I haven't had it in a while, so I was uh, quite happy to, to get this. And uh, you know, it's—I don't know if it's the age or if it's just melded or um, the, the the moisture level was adjusted perfectly or, or what it is. But this stuff smoked fantastic last night. I really enjoyed it. So thank you, Ben. That uh, that really was very kind of you. A very kind Christmas gift, and I, I truly appreciate it. And. Uh, I will be putting that lighter to good use. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to share with you came in on the same day. A box I was not expecting. I gotta tell you a little story about this. So, if you watched Jay Mouton's auction, uh, there was a really beautiful pipe made by Mark Dominguez, uh, Lone Star Briar Works, it, the Rhodesian. Uh, gorgeous pipe. And, you know, I, I've said before I had a, a budget, and, you know, it's not that I can't go above that personally, but I, I don't want to. Yeah, I bought a lot of pipes recently, and if my wife leaves me, I'll have to learn how to cook, and it, it just. It just wouldn't be a good thing for me to go above the number that I set, which was three hundred dollars. Well, this pipe pretty quickly got above that, and you know, it, it's for a charity. It's for it's for St. Jude and uh, Shriners. You know, sick kids. So yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm glad it got above three hundred. It's a beautiful pipe. And in an amazing show of generosity, uh, the person that won, uh, who was uh, Mozilla, David, David, uh, after winning the pipe in the auction, paid for it, and then told Jason, you keep it. And I think the reason he did that was that Jason was admiring the pipe. Uh, and, and it is a pipe that you would admire. So. I got a box in the mail yesterday from Jay Mouton, and I thought, what? I didn't order a pipe. Uh, <laughs> my wife's very curious because she doesn't want me to order a pipe, and uh, I, I didn't know what it was, you know, and I thought maybe it was, I didn't know what it was, so I, it was, so I opened it up, because that's what you do when you don't know what's in the box. <laughs> and. Uh, It was a pipe.
Look at that beautiful, beautiful Rhodesian. Lone Star Briar Works does very nice work. I mean, this is the first time I've had the chance to look at something he's done close up, but I've seen images and it is just beautiful. The other thing that I'm very impressed by is that Mark includes a second stem. And if I can get it out of the sock here, I'll show you. Which I believe is ebonite. Um, so you've got your choice of an ebonite stem or this sort of tortoise shell. Um, the, the reason I'm impressed by this is I know, as somebody that makes replacement stems, how hard it is to get something like this to match the shank without changing the shank. To get it that way twice, uh, that, that's some skill there, Mark. So I was absolutely flabbergasted and speechless. I, I just sat there staring at it for a while. Um, and fortunately, Jason included a kind note explaining that it was a gift, so I had proof from my wife that I did not buy it. And, uh, yeah, I just, thank you, Jason. I, I'm really, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting anything. And this is just a, a fabulous gift. So thank you so much. Um, I will smoke this. I, I just need to, I, I'm breaking in my Boswell Calabash right now. I have another Boswell that I need to start breaking in after that, although that's in a state. It's from my friend Jack Kurtz. Uh, Jack's smoked it many times, so it won't take long, and then this is next on the list. Uh, I like to do it that way. I don't like to have multiple pipes that I haven't gotten comfortable with going. I, I feel like it's important to get to know a pipe first. But uh, you know, I could just look at that for hours. So, thank you, Jason. Thank you, Ben. I'm, uh, I'm just overwhelmed by, your, by both of your kindness and uh, I truly, truly appreciate it. So today, I have a list of things I promised my wife I would do. I have to finish writing out Christmas cards still. If you're expecting a Christmas card from me, it'll be late. I was writing them out on, uh, well, yesterday. It was yesterday about 10 o'clock yesterday morning, 10 or 11, something like that. And my wife looks at me and she says, you realize they're not going to get there by Christmas. Right? Yeah. Time just, just got away from me in the past couple of weeks. And there's a lot of things like that that I really wanted to do before now. And now that I'm on vacation, I can do those things. Uh, another thing I've been working on is a stem for uh, Bama Guitar Dude. This is a, I, I think it's going to look fantastic. This is a red and white swirl acrylic. Obviously the yellow won't be part of it. And it's for this uh, Bjorn pipe. And gives you some idea what we're shooting for. This is obviously going to narrow down quite a bit in here and flare out to a slightly smaller fish tail, not, not, not that full size. And we're going to you know, thin it out quite a bit and put a little bend in it and I think that's going to be quite nice. We'll also take the yellow tape off. Don't worry Mark, no yellow tape. Uh, I'll put a bunch of yellow tape on it when I send it back to him. <laughs> No, Mark's a good guy. Everybody's a good guy. <laughs> you're, you're all good guys, and I, I appreciate y'all. So, it's going to be Christmas next week. Uh, well, this week, right? Yeah, Saturday. Uh, no live stream on Friday, because it's Christmas Eve. 
I may or may not do something on Wednesday. I'll just see if I've got anything to say. Um, I don't like making videos just for the sake of making them. So if I'm, if I'm not here on Wednesday, I'll be back Sunday, the day after Christmas. And uh, that's always a fun day to do a video. Um, I would say I, I'll, I'll show you what my wife gave me, but I already know uh, because I picked it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's fine. So I'll still show you. I'll pretend to be surprised. Actually, in past years, we, we do this a lot. You know, when, when you get to our age, yeah, you see something you need or something you really want, you buy it, you know, unless it's ridiculous. And if it's ridiculous, you're not going to buy it for the other person for Christmas anyway, right? So every year we get to Christmas, it's like, well, i got to give you something. What do you want? And I don't know what to buy, and she doesn't know what she wants, and we, we spend weeks, you know, did you think of anything yet? And eventually I'll think of something, and she'll think of something, and we'll both go out and buy it, wrap it, and hand it. We should just buy our own things and wrap them and swap them before we open them. But it's fun, you know, it's, 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 it's our tradition, you know, it's uh, just the way things have evolved in our marriage that we, we don't spend a lot of time. And I do always try to get something surprising, and she often gets something that surprises me. Um, but that's dangerous because you can, you know, you, you, you can misread someone and uh, surprise them with something that they didn't really know they wanted. <laughs> it's always been fun. I remember one year when we were, uh, we were only married for a couple of years and uh, we weren't, we didn't have a lot of money and uh, you know, so we bought smaller gifts for one another. And I knew, we both cooked at the time. We both spent a fair amount of time in the kitchen. And we had this old spatula that was ready to be tossed. And I knew that she wanted a new spatula. So I thought, oh, I'll get her a nice new spatula, which, you know, is a silly gift. And how do you wrap a spatula? You know, I'm talking about like an egg turner kind of spatula. You wrap it and it looks just like what it is, right? So on Christmas morning, um, and there were other gifts. I wasn't the only one, but that was one of the smaller things that I got for. So on Christmas morning, we we, we both bring out our little stash of gifts that we're going to give to one another. And I set mine down and she sets hers down next to it. And we look and on top of both piles, there's a thing that is clearly a wrapped spatula. <laughs> So she bought one for me and I bought one for her. And it was actually the same one. And, and that might just be because there's not many types of spatulas to buy. But yeah, we bought each other the, the same spatula. And so we had two. That was great. Anyway, it, it's fun. I, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you enjoy time with <clears throat> with family, with friends. Uh, with pets and with nature and with whatever moves you. Uh, take some time out and just feel the, the sense of wonder that comes with Christmas. Try to remember that feeling that you had when you were a small child and you still believed that a fat man in a red suit could slide down your chimney. Enjoy it. And on a final note, I want to thank Everett Young for being uh, a fantastic Santa Claus on Friday night. If you haven't seen the live stream, I had difficulty <laughs> during my interview with Santa just getting words out because I was laughing so much. It, it was very funny. So if you haven't seen last Friday's live stream, <clears throat> the interview with Santa was wonderful. And I want to thank Everett for, for uh, taking part in that. He did a fantastic job. All right, folks, with that, I'm just going to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I'll certainly be back before the, uh, the new year. You take care. And until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.